like my influences just stem from all different types of music, you know. I've, I've been known to jam a lot of Garth Brooks, you know, in my spare time. Not so much on stage these days, but when we used to do it at Strand Outlet, like, eight years ago, you know, down in Rapids, we'd play the Thunder Rolls with metal vibe to it, and all these punk rockers were thrashing around thinking it was some badass metal song, and then I'd tell them, ha, ah, you were just moshing to a Garth Brooks song. Friends in Love Places and Thunder Rolls would be badass fucking song by Garth Brooks. Yeah, country music, gotta love it. So, uh... So... Where are, I mean... You know, wh wh where do you see Morbid Serenity at in, let's say, one year? I would say, I would see myself playing in arenas or bigger clubs that would hold, you know, at least five, six hundred people in them, you know, packing sold out crowds across the nation, hopefully getting a European tour, being in some more magazines, doing radio interviews, um, you know, anything to get the word out and bring more music and uh, record, you know, at least another album's worth of stuff, at least, you know, while being on the road. That's where I see myself. Um, I'm not really so much into this for the money that's to be made by it. I'd be happy, you know, just as long as I got a roof over my head, food in my fridge, and gas, whatever vehicle I happen to own, you know, no matter how much money I have, I'll probably still live in a trailer park. And hopefully I don't really have to be on such the constraints a year from now that I am now, as far as being homeless and, you know, trying to find food and this and that. But I've got some good friends that help out, you know. They know what we're doing. They they understand why I can't keep a job because I'm kind of crazy and fucked up. I'm good for music, and that's just about it. But dropping out of high school in 2001, everybody there doubted me and what I would become. They've doubted Brandon for years. Brandon used to get picked on every single day because he had giant glasses and braces, and everybody thought he was weird. Well. You know, the weird ones are the ones who own the world. Look at fucking Bill Gates. I mean, he was a total fucking nerd. Everybody hated him in school, and now he's got everybody by the balls. And that's how we feel about everybody who doubted us in high school. And we're just here to bring it hard, heavy, in your face, 110% every time. Like Polo said, keep it 100. And uh, before we start wrapping this up, uh, let's talk a little bit about your merchandising line. Um, well, it... Uh, it goes out through Goes the Gear Screen Printing and Embroidery. They're based out of uh, California, and um, it's our uncle who runs that business and our Aunt Bonnie. Is there a URL attached to that? Just www.gozagear.com. G-O-Z-A-G-E-A-R.com. There's this Morbid Serenity shirts are looking great. Um, we got new designs coming out here hopefully soon, our own clothing line. Just starting up, we're working on beanies, we're working on uh, hoodies, uh, hats, uh, mugs, what, whatever you want. You know, we're gonna be trying to suit you. Even have little earrings for you ladies, you know? Uh, just anything and everything to say more of a Even sticker decals for your car. I mean, we got a bunch of stuff in the works and uh, you know, we hope it sells, you know? big time. It was kind of strange when these shirts first came out because like I knew what we're capable of on stage. I know the quality of our musicianship but having been the outcast in the Black Hills as long as we have been up until recently when we came back after a five-year break when I was living in Yankton he was in California you know we come back nobody takes us seriously it's like the the champ who has to fight for his title again that's how we've been going and we've been proving to people left and right that, you know, the same intensity that we used to have is more focused, more mature, more harnessed these days. And you'll see that in our stage show, you'll see that in our promotions capabilities. Most of these promotions you see about Morbid Serenity are actually manufactured by Morbid Serenity. We don't really charge outside sources too much to get our publicity out. But when we've got friends, you know, that need something said, we'll also help them say stuff about, you know, like Brookhaven Chronicles or KOD or anybody out here in the hills. 
Dakota South Records. Try to get the word out about the local scene because we're all about the community. We've done a lot of charity work for food drives in the past, cancer research. We've got a show that we're planning down on Ellsworth Air Force Base. We're going to be doing a welcome home to the troops coming home from Iraq. We really appreciate you guys. We grew up as Air Force brats. You know, our dad was a 20-year Air Force vet. We lived on the base. We know what it's like, and we know what you guys go through. So we wanted to throw a party for you at the Pride Hangar, you know, at earliest convenience as soon as we find a new bass player. Okay, before we end this interview, do you guys have some links you want to drop, some shout-outs? I, I want to shout out to my mom for being there, being very supportive of our music and uh, I don't know, she's probably the, the one who would stand out the most. I want to thank out my, uh, my girlfriend for being so supportive, putting her through the hard times and uh, you know, just not being there so much, you know, being more focused with music than you know, at home with my family and she is my family. And uh, I don't have too much other family other than that, you know. I got my dad who's coming to my life again, and a few other people are shining their head in my life now. But I mean, thank you so much to anyone and everyone for helping me out along the way, you know, any way possible. This is what we are. We're about respect the individual. And that's what it's about. That's what our music is. Uh, I just want to thank all the friends that have been helping me survive while I've been homeless, you know, the people who get me food when I need to. I, I do a lot of things in trade. DJ Raspy has been kind enough to let me crash on the floor in the studio 13. Uh, when I happen to be up in Spearfish, when I'm down in Rapid, Mike at IGM lets me crash in his recliner in his living room, you know. And we're still getting shit done, you know. In spite of the setbacks of August 1st, we're still thriving, we're still getting out there, getting the word out about the stuff. We've been writing lyrics, getting more guitar parts together. The album as it stands will definitely have songs like Wishes and Piss Me Off Again and Heretic, Dogma. Those two will have retooled lyrics because we didn't want to take Adam's lyrics from him. He's not part of the group anymore. So me being on vocals, I'll put my own lyrics to it. Uh, you can catch all that stuff on myspace.com official Morbid Serenity. Or you can go to Google and just type in Morbid Serenity, Brandon Gaddy, Ryan Gaddy, Gaddy Brothers, anything with those words in a search will take you directly to the Morbid Serenity site because there is only one Morbid Serenity. We've checked every search engine on the internet. We are the only one. The true, the official, here we stand today. Um, right on. Well, thank you guys for your time and I hope everything works out really well for Morbid Serenity. You guys are getting big, much respect, much love. From BrickhavenChronicles.com, this is DJ Raspy. Morbid Serenity. What's up? See you. you guys have a good night. Thank you.